Previously on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well, you know what? If I can't actually hold on to this thing forever, I'll just take a picture picture with it. Mother f And now back to saving hi- Ooh, what's that over there? Hello! The Sneako B. Back with some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We last left off, we managed to tame the Lord of the Mountain, our favorite little blue alien horse, which you guys actually apparently told me he's uh, he's supposed to be based off of uh, uh, apparently the original president of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, I believe his name is, um, who actually died uh, back in 2015. Oh, that's so sad. That's that is really uh, sweet of them though to sort of uh, immortalize him in the game that way. You know, it's a really pretty awesome Easter egg. It really was a very cool design on that, uh, on the Lord of the Mountain. Oh, that's sweet. I, and I mean, the, the mountain he was on was called Satori Mountain, right? Oh, that's nice. I, I always like seeing things like that. We also managed to head west a bit, um, and, uh, start getting the rest of the map. Actually, yeah, we have only three sections left now. One in the north and two in the south. This one is, I think, completely surrounded by that canyon, so... I'm gonna have to get over that before I can actually get in there. By the way, you guys clarified uh, a few things for me. Uh, first off, uh, one thing I really probably should have known uh, is that uh, this is not, no, this is not Minna's helmet. This is Zant's helmet. It even says Zant's helmet. And I, I just, I really do not remember much about Twilight Princess. And I, I've sort of come to realize something. I don't think I ever actually beat Twilight Princess. I don't remember how far I got, but I don't think I actually beat it. I thought I did. But now I'm I like I don't remember anything about the final boss or even the main bad guy in that game That's why I just couldn't remember this all I remember really mainly is Midna and a few of the like Gadgets and gizmos you get kind of along the way And you know motion controls and shit, but like the story and so many other things the, I mean, I know I turned to a wolf but so much I just I don't remember so I guess it could be a potential let's play but at the same time I don't know I, I, I do like my stuff to be as blind as possible um, I'd consider Ocarina of the Time as for Let's Play only because I did not play that in any one sitting, just in bits and pieces, and I don't remember, I still don't remember anything about it. But I'm, I'm showing clearly, I do not remember much about uh, Twilight Princess either. And as for why, I, I don't think I have a particular reason why. I think I didn't finish it for, for some reason. I don't think I, it wasn't because I was not enjoying it or I thought it was bad. But like I said, this was a, this was the first Zelda game I ever played, uh, aside from Ocarina of Time when I was a little kid. Um, and then after that, I had played A Link to the Past. That I played more recently, and actually, I played, like, on an emulator. By the way, you might have also noticed, uh, I actually managed to, uh, max out my, uh, well, not max out, but get to level two my, uh, my Twilight, uh, armor. And I got a set bonus. Master Sword Beam Up. So I guess that means it increases the power of this thing. That's pretty cool. I, I haven't really used this very much. I, I really probably should start doing that. I, I imagine doing that probably still, uh... Uh, hurts the durability of the sword, but, or, well, runs the energy down. But that's pretty good, I think. I, I don't know, I guess it depends how much is actually increasing it. You guys also did clarify that, uh, yes, what I said before is actually, this is, uh, Phantom Ganon, uh, gear, uh, it gives me a disguise just for the bone enemies, not for regular enemies. Okay, I, I kind of actually wonder, does, would the, uh, Majora's Mask work on the bone enemies? It seems like it works on almost everybody, but maybe it doesn't work on the bone ones. I'm not really sure. I guess I have to test it out, because then it at least would give a purpose to this. Otherwise, all you really need is Majora's Mask. Also, yes, this is from Wind Waker, and apparently this is the outfit for the main character of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So, by the way, uh, off screen, I actually managed to uh, finally cook something on a Blood Moon. And I, I sort of uh, came to uh, understand exactly what it does, at least I think. I So, it, it seems to, it just makes the food that you cook much stronger so like something that would normally be a level one uh in terms of like uh protection or increased attack or whatever uh is now a level two uh it heals more hearts uh things like that so i just like i went on like a cooking fucking frenzy the 30 minutes before the blood moon just started cooking a whole bunch of shit which you kind of need to do because i was <laughs> i hadn't really been cooking as much stuff this game as i probably should have oh my god look at that thing seriously that is so many hearts. Also, when I went back and looked at the recording, I did see that it does uh, s seem that I have actually filled up my uh, stamina as far as it can go. So, all right, cool. So, I just got to worry about hearts. All right, and I got my uh, my horse gear, too. So, now I can call Bernie from anywhere in the world. Yay! Anyway, real quick, I uh, I want to go in... Um, I want to go and uh, get further into this quest, Riddles of Hyrule. I believe I found this thing. It's skills. 
and tail will zap you, no doubt. The shocking swimmer is called a fish. I believe I found it. I There it is. Vault fin trout. This trout makes its home in freshwater licks. The scales have an insulating compound that even when cooked offers resistance to electricity. At least I assume. I, I don't know. It might, might not be right. I was kind of thinking it might be like an eel initially, but uh, I will say having this high stamina really just makes life so much easier. I just hop up cliffs now. Don't have to slowly sl slug my way up there. Ah, right, buddy, is this what you wanted? <laughs> oh, <then drunk>! yeah! <laughs> this little dance. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. You got it. Um, next riddle is. This is the last riddle. Prepare yourself. Okay. If stepped on by this, you will go poof. It starts with an H. It ends with a doof. <laughs> oh, a, a hoof. Uh, Lionel hoof. I think it's the only hoof I've gotten here. Yeah. This thing? <laughs> Line up! Yay! That's it! That's it! You got it! I knew you could do it, Mr. Hero! Here's your reward! Ooh, a diamond! Thank you! For Shadow Riddles, you've out -whittle whittled me! <laughs> Very impressive! Alright, cool! Thanks, buddy! Aw, <laughs> uh, everyone's so freaking cute in this game. Alright, I've not got quite a few side quests now. Don't have much in terms of, uh,. DLC uh, uh, treasures anymore either. Just oh, I do have this. Yeah, that the Princess of Twilight, whose st stories are handed down alongside those of the Hero of Twilight. Her helmet can found. T Actually, I think I think I might be able to get to this. Let's go see if I can find that. I think it might be here. Can we please not do this? Ah! Oh yeah, I think I just saw a shooting star fall down over there. Not sure if I'm actually going to be able to get to it. A little area over here with some Zalfos. And a tree of some kind. It's got to be a shrine or something here, right? Oh my god, there's so many fucking Zalfos. Hey, bitches! Electricity! <laughs> Boom! Still alive! It's fine, I need a bomb. Boom! Wait, wait! No, no one hit me! I want to try hitting you with my beam, uh, beam of my master sword. Yeah, ah, 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 yeah. Oh dear. Ah. That does not do a whole lot of damage, honestly. That's a little disappointing. God damn it! I spent so much time trying to upgrade this thing too. Eat shit. Oh, God damn it! It had to start raining. Oh, ancient tree stump. Truly, the hottest thing in this game is the fucking rain. Seriously. Fuck you, rain. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's a, it's a firebrand sword or great or great flame sword. Sure, I'll take you. Ooh, I have to mark this, mark this on my map. You guys, just guarding that flame sword. Dumbass could've been using it on me. All right, continue what I was what I was doing. All right, let's have a look around this area. Sage Temple ruins. Oh, hello. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, we do get Midna's helmet. Helmet much like the one Midna wore from when she fought alongside the hero of Twilight. It's rather rare fun. Ah, there we go. <laughs> cool, it's even got her hair. <laughs> Which remember she'd like turn into stuff like a fist and woo. <laughs> cool, and it's even got guardian resistance. Unfortunately, uh. I got a god and helmet. Uh, I got an ancient helmet, which is better than this, but still cool to have. All right, all I've got left is the royal guard's uh, outfit, and that's in Hyrule Castle, and so I won't be getting that for a while. All right, I also managed to find a fire rod, uh, so I should probably go do that real quick. Oh, I should go tell that guy at the stable too that I sold a great fairy. Okay, I was like, wait, did I do that already? Anyway, I believe the next divine beast I'm probably gonna head towards is that area just to the north. Uh, of where the great fairy fountain was. Since I can see it, you know? I'm in the area. Hey, hmm? Oh, isn't that the fire rod? Nice, nice. Let me see, let me see. Go ahead. Seriously, don't try to, don't burn yourself though. Also, put some shoes on, man. I want somebody to drop glass around this area. <laughs> Whoa, the real thing is re re the really the real deal. Thank you. Take this as a token as my thanks. Oh, 20 rupees. Wow, holy shit. I'm loaded now. Don't be a douche about it. You know the trouble I had to go through to get this shit? My grabs told me to give it to the person that teach you how to fight. Close enough. Next one. Should I? Huh. Um. G 
got it! <laughs> Here to the Mo Moblin Club? See the books you've never seen before. Okay. Definitely don't have that, but I've gotten eight million times, so that's no problem. I've been spending all my Koroxes pretty much on just increasing my weapon inventory. Cause it's really the only one that's sort of like the, the most important and the most annoying to have get full. All right, let's go see that got the stable in real quick. Hey, hey don't, don't you go, go dissing 20, 20 rupees, rupees Link. Link. You can buy a lot, a lot of things, things with 20, 20 rupees. rupees. That fucking what? So, so many, many things. things. Buy yourself a fucking champion's weapon, weapon for 20, 20 rupees. rupees. Buy yourself a house for 20 rupees. rupees. Buy yourself 20 rupees with 20 rupees! Dude, what the fuck kind of house do you buy with that thing? What the hell's that champion's weapon you're made of anyway? I think it's about 80% styrofoam. I thought it felt kind of light. Oh. Hey, dude. Hey, it's you. Did you give the great fairy an offering? Of course! <laughs> Alright, thank you. Looks like I asked you was a good call after all. So means you met the great fairy, huh? Man, I'm so jealous. But hey, at least got to meet her. At least technically I got to make an offering to the great fairy. Can't thank you enough. Forgetting something? Um, <laughs> huh? Um, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? Don't tell me to get one your reward, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like, I like how I actually said that. <laughs> Forgetting something? Hey, bitch. Dude, I just gave you five hundred fucking rupees. Oh. See, the great fairy thanks to my tip, didn't you? Now you're asking for more. Oh, the great fairy. It was just in my dreams. What you appear before me? Fuck you. You die now. Ah. 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 I think it's as much like my charger. <laughs> 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 ah. Ah. Alright. Hope you learned a lesson. Bye. Okay, so that's the th that mark over there that guy was referring to earlier. What is up with that? That is in the direction of where another area is. Let's just go over there so I can see what that is and also uh, map out another area. I got full stamina and climbing gear, so I think I should be able to get up this thing in theory. God damn, that is really fucking high up, though. I don't know what that is exactly supposed to be. It looks kind of like like the electric symbol. Am I supposed to shoot like a, a shock arrow at it? That's cool. They're like little little makeshift bridges built all around this this uh, giant canyon. What the hell? It's starting to rain? The forecast says it's supposed to just be cloudy. Why is it raining? Oh. All right, it went away. <laughs> Back up your mind, weather. Oh, God. Out of there. Bye. Oh, yeah, of course. There has to be a whole bunch of you guys also hanging out here. And that guy is standing next to a big boulder. Do not get in front of it. Me just waiting for something to come up for me to drop this on. Oh, it's getting foggy up here. Ooh, a wasteland coyote. Go away. Oh, come on. No, no. Don't fuck with me, man. Is that Farish again? It is. What are you doing all the way over here? Ah! Seriously, what are you doing the fuck all the way over here? See, this is the area around. The bridge? You go everywhere, don't you? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Ha! You, you missed! missed! Dumbass mountain. Do not Do anger, anger the mountain, mountain gods, gods Link. Link. You, you must, must treat, treat the mountain, the mountain with, respect. with respect. Fuck you! Your god is an inanimate object! Your whole existence is a lie! Oh, hey, look at this. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, hey, it's starting to get a little chilly up here. Put on my face. Oh, hey, wow, all right. It's gonna take me all the way to the top. I'm still cold, fuck! Holy shit! Wasn't expecting you to get this cold up here! I put on my warm doublet! You know, from far away, it looked like it's warmer up here, like a Grand Canyon or something. Where's that doublet? Oh, there it is. Okay. I think I'm shooting a great arrow? Or a. Shock arrow at that? Nope. Just climb up to it and see what's up. And I cannot. Maybe I gotta be dead center with that. That shock arrow. There we go! I just wasn't close enough to the center, I, I guess. Alright, I did it! <laughs> Kiha something or other. Kiha use blessing. Alright, cool. Ooh, diamond. Thank you. Okay, while I'm over here, just so I don't have to reclimb this big uh, canyon thing. Let's see if I can get to the tower. That seems to be totally surrounded by by these mountains. Hopefully without freezing to death. Actually, you know what? Just so I can equip my climber's gear. I've got some uh, cold resistance uh, food here. Spicy saute peppers. 
I cooked these on the blood moon. So it was literally just five peppers. I think normally that would just give me a level one, but this time it actually gave me a level two. Uh, oh. Ooh, cold-footed wolf. He just seems really thrilled to see me. Okay, bye-bye. Wow, it is a lot snowier up here than I realized. Is that a bad guy? You are. You're one of those. Yeah, frost pebblet. Is it just canyon up here? I thought it was like surrounding something, but it just looks like it's like all mountain. Where the fuck's the tower? Wow, I think, <laughs> I think my running slowed down. Because of how, maybe how cold it is or just the snow. Oh my god, I can't see anything. How the hell am I supposed to find the tower? Look at that forecast. That is just s snow all day, every day. Hi there. Sorry, don't mind me. I don't want to be your dinner. Oh god. No way, guys. Look, it's it's me, Ganondorf. I'm a good guy. Ah, uh, if any new ones pop up, hopefully they'll still buy it. Oh, charger chest. Buried in the snow. Imagine if I brought my horse up here, he would, she would probably die. I do not want, and I do not want that to happen. Fuck, could the tower be? I really would think I would see it. Oh, hey. Uh. Oh, I see a Korok. Okay, there actually is an inside of this thing, this area. Oh, go away! Ah! Oh God, you freeze! Can't freeze me now, bitch. That's right. I got Zan's helmet. Oh shit! No, go away. Three off. Yeah! Oh, fuck! Off the mountain you go! Ah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! That is fucking satisfying. Oh, there it, there it is. It's too, got two little, uh... Little Boko blends around him. What are you two assholes doing? Fuck off. Ah, you're on fire. Oh, my God! That did a lot of damage. Oh, it's because I got absolute garbage armor on. Go away! Ah! Oh God, Farish, come on, man. What are you doing here, man? I don't need this, all right? Seriously, it is cold as dicks up here. I shouldn't even be here. Oh my God, seriously, it's freezing. Got that fire sword equipped at him. It is really goddamn cold. Who would have thunk it? I just wanna go in there. There we go. The things I do to be loved! Okay, there's... Wait, where the fuck am I? Am I still in the outer ring of this thing? Or, uh, I can see another tower from here. That doesn't seem right. Motherfucker, I can't believe it's so hard to find this fucking tower in this area. I only got six minutes left before I'm fucking dead. Is that a lino? Oh, that is a lino, isn't it? White maned lino. Oh, nasty. Fucking nasty. I really thought this thing would be up up here somewhere, but I do not see it. But if that's the case, then where would it be? Because I didn't see anywhere on the ground. Oh my god, he looks fucking pissed. I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck with you, dude. Not right now at least. Whoa, look at that. It's a big sword. It's a giant stone sword. Uh oh, there's a okay, there's a shrine right there. That would at least let me be able to teleport back up here. Maybe it's on this side here? Can't go any farther. I've hit the end of the world, I guess. Then where the freaking shit is this tower? Is there not a tower for this area? Is that the point, maybe? There's no way you can, like, totally map it out. You just... That seems kind of unlikely, though. Oh. Hey, look, I'm melting this thing. I don't know if there's a point to it doing this, but, uh. Nope. <laughs> no, oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> okay, there was a Korok there. All right. I was like, all right, that was a big waste of dumb time. Oh, good. Okay. Little Korok, were you, like, frozen in there? You see me? All right, let's just go to the shrine, then. The Chemico Sasa Shrine. The cold as fuck shrine. Ooh, major test of strength. It's wet in here. All right. Put on my really strong shit. She wants to put on my fucking blade saw. 
Oh, I just realized there's no towers in here. I'm about to make my own, right? For him to run into with the water. My own ice towers. Here I come! Ugh. Yeah, okay, here it goes. Yeah! Like that! Yeah! So cool! Uh, uh. Alright, he's shock arrows. Gotcha! Elwin, thank you for your agent core. Hundred dollar. Hey, have you guys seen a towel anywhere? Seriously, I can't find this thing. At all. Is that it? No. It's just the same fucking tower that's not in this area. Ooh, is that a... That's a winter moose. Tabantha moose. Oh! 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 Oh, there it is! Oh, motherfucker, finally! Oh, and I found a Korok, too. Man, that thing is really tucked in there. I don't know if I, I was the only one who struggled finding that. I am grabbing that shit while I still have the chance. <laughs> and suddenly, it just got a lot warmer. Oh, that's a Korok right there. Again, you gotta fill up the spot. And Oh, good. Looks like at least this one has actually a rock next to it. I suppose if you were down in the desert, you, pr you probably could have seen this tower a bit more easily. I guess, although we're still really fucking high up. Yeah, so I see. Okay, so in the southern part here, it's all desert. And to the north, it seems to be mostly snowy stuff. Definitely wasn't where I expected it to be. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa, that one goes really far down. Holy shit. And there's not much of a... There's no break anywhere around it. So you're gonna... The best way to do it is you're gonna have to hang glide to... As close as you can to the top. All right, should hopefully work. Wow, look at that. Cass? Are you at the top of this? Ruta Tower. Ah. Cass, what are you doing up here? <laughs> no. What if? No, but but then. Oh. Hmm. Mm, ah, forgive me. I was lost in a song written by my late teacher. He wrote it for the hero who fell to the calamity a hundred years ago. So much time has passed, and yet the hero has not yet returned. But my teacher always kept faith. I hope to play the song for the hero someday, so I practice it often. Oh, forgive me. It seems I have prattled on. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it, man. Excellent. Without further ado. As light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Okay, my shooting at the sun from an, or something, or shooting at that spot? I still don't quite understand the lyrics, but knowing my teacher, they're the key to revealing a secret. Best of luck, and may the light illuminate your path. Thanks, Cass. Sign of the Shadow. Alright, well, let's go ahead and just get this thing. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. Behold. Alright, only really a couple, a couple more towers for the whole area has been revealed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, if I'd seen that earlier, I would have realized just how fucking cold it was up there. And that also, there wasn't, like, a big hole in the middle of it. I, like, I really, I imagined it was, like, a canyon, and then in the center was where the tower was. Not that it was all just mountain. From the tower's shadow, as the light shines from the northwest sky, pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. I'm guessing I have to wait till a certain time of day. Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thanks, Daruk. Maybe just shoot directly over where this thing is. Okay, I think I understand this now. It's light shines from the nor northwest sky, so 
from the tower shadow and arrows fly. So I'm I'm gonna be standing where the shadow lands, which I think is gonna be that little platform down there. And then I'm gonna be facing towards uh, the light coming out, uh, which is gonna be towards the tower, probably right behind the tower. Pierce the heavens light to reveal the prize. So okay, so I'm gonna be down here. Yeah, you see the uh, the shadow of the tower rotating slowly. Eventually, it's gonna make its way over here. Oh, it lit up. I guess that means I can do it now. Yes! Cool. Ah. Uh, solving these little riddles always makes you feel so fucking smart. <laughs> I mean, I know they're not rocket science, but it's still fun. I am a mother flipping genius. <laughs> sure, you can just keep telling yourself that. I will, old man, thanks. A modest test of strength. Sasakai Shrine. Ooh, we going through a lot of you guys. Oh, that's interesting. Something I didn't even realize. My uh my power, uh I can't use it in here. Daruk's protection and Mifa's grace. You don't see them on the side and they're not glowing in my inventory. Interesting, and I didn't I didn't even realize that. All right, buddy, what little weapons you got this time? Sword and a spear, all right. Here I come. Ugh. Boom, boom. Gotcha. So I haven't gotten this one before. The Guardian plus spear, I'm, I'm assuming. Er, Guardian plus, oh, the Guardian plus sword I haven't gotten before. Guardian sword's enhanced power of the standard model. It's kind of capable, capabilities are improved and its durability has a slight uptick. Frost blade, oh, hey, that's a new one. I haven't actually gotten the, the short uh, sword version of the uh, the frost weapon. Magical sword forged in the frigid mountains of uh, of the Hebrew region. All right, with this, I get have enough to get uh, another heart container. Ooh, we have gone through 60 freaking shrines total already. That's a lot of shrines. And there still seem to be plenty more, too, where that came from. Hey, Cass, I got the thing! Is he still up there? Ah, I think he's gone. I think he disappears every time I figure it out. I'm actually kind of curious, though. What's at the bottom of this thing? Uh... Holy shit, seriously. Oh! What? Just bottomless pit down there? Seriously? There is no bottom to this tower, apparently. What? What does it do? Go all the way to the center of the earth? The center of the earth! Well, actually, now I think about it, these did rise out of the ground, right? So they do have to go pretty damn far down. I see there are. There is no bottom to this tower. All right, enough distractions, though. My path is north. So we're going to pant the tower and head towards that, uh, what seems to be a village up ahead. All right, looks like we got some cool stuff over here. All right, away! That does not look very well secured, whatever that big rock thing is. Looks quite precarious. I think you guys are also over bottomless pit, actually. No, there, there's water down there. Still would rather not fall down. Oh, that's cool, you can see the, the shadow of that big rock thing over there. I was like, what is that? Is that like swamp area? Nope, nope, just, just tower shadow. Oh, we got a stable right here. Oh, <laughs> what's happening? Rito stable. I kind of feel like, is there gonna be a shrine around here? I think it's not going off, so probably not. I mean, we're kind of close to the a village, it seems like, so. What about me is I just can't get enough spice in my life. Spicy, I need that bird and tingle. I need curry rice. I have island rice on hand, which I need to make curry rice, but I have fresh agar on spice. Oh, dude, I got you, bro. I got some already. Can't just run off and leave the stable. Can't get your hands on some gar on spice. Can you give it to me? Sure thing. Thank you kindly, sonny boy. Curry rice owns the ones we ride up. Got some. It's gar on spice, all right? Hey, can I ask you to part with the gar on spice for, say, 50 rupees? <laughs> no, it's mine. It's all yours, man. Thank you. With gar on spice and island rice, I'll be able to make some curry rice to warm my soul. Hey, you're 50 rupees. Woo-wee. Go across any more gone spots, please bring it to me. 
Next time I'll trade you some highly rice for it. If you have some other ingredients to grow on spice and highly rice, it can be all kinds of different curry rice dishes. Try it next time you have some spare ingredients. I think I made some like curry for what ails you. I think I made some uh made something with it when I was uh, on the blood moon thing. Uh Oh yeah, there it is. Spiced meat skewer. Special ground spice covers up a scent of the meat, allowing it to flavor to shine. Oh, cast, dude, man, you're all over the place lately. Ooh. Ah, we meet again. I'm glad to see you in one piece. We're actually very close to my hometown of Rito Village. Oh, the land of bird people. Okay. And I must admit, I'm feeling incredibly homesick. Mm. I had to leave my wife and children back in the village. I'm sure they're doing just fine. But you can see, but you see, I cannot go home until I fulfill my promise to my teacher. Promise? My promise to... On second thought, now is not the time. Oh. Is that going to be related to one of the champions? But if I am able to learn all of the ancient songs, I will tell you of a pro my promise back in my hometown. But listen to me blathering on, and to focus on my craft. Happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to be my, my teacher. Do you hear to care to hear it? I see, so I got to do all of the quests involving you, right? Before oh. I hear it. Let's hear it, man. Excellent. Without further ado. Oh, no. This is the same one. We I heard this one already. Oh, got some rumor mill. Anything new? Greens for Tracy. Best source of gossip and news. Uh, got a great one for you. The sword that seals the darkness. I, I've got that on my back, you ding dong. I got it. Really? One star for the ultimate sword? Flight range. Flight range? And slow, snowy mountain climbing path. Bernie, come to me! <laughs> <laughs> I am here! Thanks, Bernie. I'm a freaking superhero. I know. Alright, let's go to Rito Village then. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Hello, fellow bird friend. Yeah. Good evening. Did you need something? Who are you? I'm just saying, I'm the Rito. The Rito? Yes, the Rito of Lake Tatori, where the men are fine archers and the women better singers. You being a highly, and I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. You should visit the village if you have a chance. It's literally right behind me. Okay. Can I get directions? Ooh, I appear to be coming in on a shrine. You don't say. Cool. Oh god. <laughs> I'll see the giant. Hey, you don't want to go any further? All right, fine. You hang out here then. Oh. The giant divine beast. Bird beast! Oh, hey, I see you! Uh, what's his face? Kilton over there. Oh, you look friendly. A ah! Can I hijack that thing and then just fly around with it? That'd make getting around a lot easier. How the hell am I supposed to fight you anyway? Rito Village. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Ooh wee! <laughs> More like the village of lag! Hmm, a traveler at this hour. I'd like to show you around, but not in a really good time. Where am I? It's Rito Village, but I think could say we're not in a welcoming mood. Talk to the folks in the village to hear all about it. What's going on? Did you see the beast in the sky? That's divine beast Va Mado. He showed up a while back. The Rito warriors who flew up to check it out were shot down. They say he used to be a divine being that protected the village, but it doesn't seem very divine to me. Thankfully, the only the thing only shoots at anything flying high above the village. Uh... Still, it's pretty demoralizing for us. Rito have to fly so low to the ground. Ooh, got an ar a new armor shop. Oh, and perfect. Go ahead and grab a heart container while I'm here. Actually, okay, I just want to check. So I, I can't get another stamina, all right? You're being a explosive vigor. No need for stamina wheel. All right. I will take a heart container then. How many total hearts I can get? There we are. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> uh, boy or girl? I think you're a boy. Hey, evening. So, have you seen it? Divine Beast Von Mado. I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it. I have a bigger problems. Mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out at the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store, sell whatever I want. 
Well, good luck with that. I'll steal this vase. My! <laughs> Oops. Ah, uh, he did it! Open the beds! Welcome to Shallow's Roost, the finest inn you will ever s step foot in. You must be tired of the latest late hour. And it is the perfect place to snooze. Uh, no troubles away. Keep talking! <laughs> yeah, you want a place to stay, talk to the innkeeper. Oh, got some regular people here, too. A Rito down bed? So I use the only genuine Rito, Rito feathers. I will warn you, sleep a, a night on this bed. You will never want to sleep on a stable bed ever again. Should you not wake up full of energy in the morning? I'll eat my own tail feathers, guaranteed! All right, I'm gonna hold you to that, lady. All right, we got a little shop full of, is that exotic butters right there? Oh my God, it is! Goat butter! I will take all your goat butters. Mises recipe book. Oh, cool, apple pie. First, you want to buy tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Slippery Falcon. Cook those with an apple until the crust is flaky golden and the insides are gooey and delicious. For an kick, try substituting the apple with something else. Ooh, warm garb here. Hey, sport, on your way to the mountains? Mm. Plan to go someplace cold? Just because we're on some of our warm clothes. Oh, fuck yeah. Someplace cold. Mm. Go up to Hebrew Mountains and anywhere other than that, even experienced climbers freeze to death. But up with some more warm clothes, even amateur can make it to the summit. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, baby, I've been waiting for this. Oh, I've been wanting this shit for so long. Coal resistance gear. Yeah! Hey! Snow cool headdress. Why are the headgears always so expensive? Rito accessory made from snowbird feathers, adorned with a ruby, with a ruby, a gin that harnesses the power fire to make cold, ki cold climates tolerable. Oh. And snow quill tunic. The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain, retain body heat. Oh. And little booties! Hey! Inside is lined with Rito feathers. Ah, so cool. <laughs> Yay! Oh, let's try it on. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and snug in this. Oh, so good. Yay! Oh, man, I've been fucking dying to get this shit for so long. Now I just need to upgrade it. Get a set bonus. Are those little, uh... Oh. Oh, the little baby birdies! Oh, my God. Sniff. They're all of different colors, too. Oh, if only Dad were here. Oh, oh no, that's the, that's the son of fucking Cass, isn't it? I bet, or daughter. Oh my goodness, look at you and your funny little bird feet. Oh my god, they're all so precious. All right, let's try making some apple pie. So, okay, I got a apple, some goat butter, some Tabatha wheat, and some cane sugar. I think this is it. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Crispy, flaky pie and sweet apples are a match made in heaven. Sweet, awesome. You see that? It was cool, lady, huh? Traveler, do you? Who do you usually cook for? <laughs> Myself, for someone special. <laughs> I cook for my dead girlfriend who haunts me every night. Yes, yes out, of, out, of, out of, of love, by, by the way. way. Yes, of course, dear. There is no better feeling than cooking a good meal for someone who means a lot to you. Cooking a healthy meal for my daughter is one of my life's greatest joys. Perhaps you should use the spot to cook a nice meal for your sweetheart. Aw, oh, thank you. What else does that recipe book, recipe book have? Nut cake. First you want tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. That's a good way to sell your own products, lady, I gotta say. Leave a little recipe book that tells you exactly what products you need. And of course, it involves all the stuff that you get at the shop. Toss in a pot alongside the nuts of your choice to make a tasty nut cake. I prefer acorns myself. And fried bananas. Buy tabantha wheat and cane sugar. Then just fry up those alongside body bananas. <laughs> oh, yummy nut cake. Forest nuts give this a pleasant texture and a simple, understated sweetness. There's something so satisfying about doing this, you know? Oh, man, it makes me hungry. <laughs> mighty fried bananas. Yay. Grants a low level attack power boost. Children love fried but mighty bananas. The trick is frying them over very high heat. <laughs> look, at, look at Link's face. I'd really like you to look at how excited he is. He starts like, he's like wiping the drool off his face. I love it. Just realized, uh, Kilton, are you still around, bro? I want to see him before he, I want to see him before he leaves. Akvacote Shrine. Oh, there's another shrine thing. Yeah, I think he left already. I'm going to, I need, I need to see him. I haven't actually come to his shop yet. Windmills. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Oh, chest over here. Uh, I wonder if I could, can I do this? 
Oh, look at that. I can't. Ha! Breaking the... Gave me this... Oh. Run! Oh. Can I lock myself in there? Ancient core. All right. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> it's nice enough not to do that. Or I suppose I could just... Oh, I see. I could shoot that thing. It would bring it over here, and then it would blow on it. I could actually probably beat this pretty easily by just use my... Uh, this thing. M maybe. Actually, no. I don't think so. I think I have to get all of them activated, or... Yeah, I have to activate all of them. Okay, so do like that. There we are. I think. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, it's two of them. Sapphire. I have a distinct feeling that Sapphire is going to be like a main thing for upgrading this armor. Feathered Spear. It's lightweight design is a hallmark of Rito craftsmanship. It's made from light and sturdy materials which afford Rito warriors ease of use during aerial combat. And I don't have any room. What else? Oh, look at this. This is where they like jump off to like fly. Q, why must you always insist on worrying your poor mother? What's the matter? My youngest daughter, Q, wants to go to the Warbler's Nest. She won't stop talking about it. I have five daughters, daughters, and ever since that beast appeared, they've been getting needier by the minute. Uh. Times like this, I wish he was around. I wish I could be a kid again and think only of myself. But that is the thing about being a, a parent. You have to be bigger than your children. Oh, are, are you, uh, related to... Oh, look how sad they are. They say it's too dangerous to go outside the village right now. But all I do is go sit with my sisters at Warbler's Nest. Huh? That divine beast found me know is a big jerk. Huh? Kale, watch your language. Watch your language, you little bitch. Huh? But, but... It's all right. I'll fuck him up for you. Really? Yep, don't worry. Leave it to Daddy Link. I see a Korok seed. Uh, where did, oh, there it is. Ah, uh, oh god, oh god, uh, oh, I got it. Hey, baby! Huh? A birdie! Are all these Cass's children, I wonder? Want me to tell you a story? I love stories. Awesome, me too. Ahem. Once upon a time, my grandpa stopped at a big tree while he was climbing a big mountain, and he looked below him to the northwest, when suddenly he saw a huge snow birdie, white birdie with its wings spread wide. My grandpa took off flying after the snow white birdie. As he got closer to the snow white birdie, grandpa saw something super important inside its belly. The birdie had swallowed. Well, what is it? Don't give me anything. I was sleepy around that part of the story, so I don't remember. Oh, I know where the big tree is now. It's over there, you see? Oh my god, are you kidding me, kid? Grandma said he saw the Snow White Birdie from that tree. Aww. Now, what did the Snow White Birdie swallow? Aww. Can't hear the story from Grandpa anymore. Snip. Aw. Bird, the bird in the mountains. Holy mother of God, kid, really? <sighs> well, I guess it's easy for you guys. Fuck, fly around whenever you want. Not me, though. I just kind of glide everywhere I go. God, why is everyone in this in this game so freaking adorable? Look at these guys. They're so cute. <laughs> What's wrong? I mean, Mama Doe's the worst. Molly's dad got hurt, and Tulin's dad disappeared. Tulin's dad. Well, Tulin's dad. No, that could still be Cass. Mom and big sister, my little sister, are all sad, <laughs> and I can't do anything to help. Oh, it's okay, little birdie friend. You leave this to Daddy Link, okay? I am more committed than ever now. I'm going to save these little dumb birdie people. I wonder, if, does Kilton show up every night in a village that you pick? Or it's it's probably random. Okay, what do I need for these? Red choo-choo jelly. Fantastic. Got plenty of that. Okay. Red choo-choo jelly and warm saflina. Okay, I'm going to need a whole bunch of that then. And also, actually, more red choo-choo jelly. I actually heard you guys tell me you can actually uh, convert the choo-choo jelly that you have. So I not only can I, uh, to do it when an enemy is still alive and ha attack with a fire blade, turn to red choo-choo jelly if, or, if they're blue. Um, I can also do it from with the items themselves. So 
All I actually need to do then is, I, which is good, I got like a million of these things. Take this, drop it on the ground, I think. Yeah, look at that! Oh, that's so cool. That's gonna make this a lot easier. Okay, now I'll need some warm Saflina, which apparently is in the Gerudo Desert. Oh, and Hyrule Ridge. Just wanna upgrade this so I can actually wear this in like snowy areas and still feel relatively protected, you know, when fighting enemies. All right, so in my journey to find a uh, some sat warm Saflina to upgrade my armor, I came across this thing, a Silver Boko Blin. That I have never seen before. I didn't think there was anything stronger than the uh, the black ones. You'd be foolish to call the Silver Boko Blin a mere nuisance. They've been influenced by Ganon's fiendish magic, so they're stronger than even the back black Boko Blin. They're called silver not only because of their coloring, but also due to their rarity. Purple markings help them stand out even more. Ah, interesting. So they're rare. Well, in that case, let's uh, let's kick his ass. Man, hit him with one of these boulders. I bet that means that white Lionel is probably like the strongest Lionel out there, right? Actually, I could probably check and see. It'll probably tell me. White Mane Lionel. It's fearsome monsters have lived in Hyrule since ancient times. Their ability to breathe fire makes White Mane Lionel among the toughest of the species. Each one of their attacks is an invitation to the grave. There are also a few eyewitnesses accounts of this breed because White Mane Lionel is not one to let even simply passerbys escape with their lives. Holy fuck. Okay, guys, ready for this? Oh, fuck. No, come on, Boulder. Eh, eh. Oh, come on. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yes! Bullseye, and it didn't do fucking shit. God damn. You're dear. Double, Mr. Boko Blin. Fine. You want to do this the motherfucking hard way? Ready? I'm coming in hot. What are you doing, you stupid idiot? Ah! Uh. Uh. Ooh, you, oh, oh, holy crap! You had a bunch of good stuff on you. That's a new shield. Dragon Boko shield. Durability up. It's reinforced fossilized bones. Defensive capabilities are respectable, but it's predictability. Slipshot craftsmanship spells low durability. You know, it says Warm Saflina is supposed to be on Hyrule Ridge, but, like, I've been around here and I don't see it anywhere. I can any ding a It says it's supposed to be around arid regions, but this region isn't really terribly arid. Oh, hey, I think I see another... There's a shrine, but I also think I see another stable. Well, I as well grab a shrine while I'm in the in the neighborhood. Monya Toma Shrine. Yep, that's another stable. God, those stables are all over the place. Drawing par par parabolas. Okay, pick up the ball. Whoa! What happens if I shoot this thing? Ah. Okay, now launch me over there. Thank you. Ooh, Thunderblade. Okay, and that's gonna launch the ball through those blocks and into its little slot. Nope, I'm gonna have to go over there. So I can do this without fucking killing myself. Damn it! Ah! At least the ball didn't go flying. Ah, oh, no, what the hell? I dropped it! What? I dropped, what? Why did he drop it like that? There we are. All right, what stable we got over here? Whoa! <laughs> Watch out, doggy! Serene stable. That feels very serene right now. <laughs> ah! What the Leviathan? How did they go extinct? Bones. These all three different quests. My theory is that the Leviathans of ancient times went extinct due to the sudden cataclysmic drought long ago. My theory of Leviathans of each time went extinct due to volcanic erupt, a uh, violent volcanic eruption. Oh. My theory is that Leviathans of each time went extinct due to uh, extended ice age. Mm -hmm. Oh, pardon me, I've gone ahead of myself. Hmm. How did the Leviathans go extinct? That's a question we scientists are trying to answer. Mm -hmm. oh, we haven't yet located any Leviathan remains, so we were stuck with theories for the time being. But we do have a general idea where such remains might be found. The Elder Mountains in the Northeast. The Hebrew region in the northwest, and the Gerudo region in the southwest. Climates of these re regions are rather extreme. Gotta look of someone who's done a fair bit of entering. Oh, you know, I've been around a bit. Mm. Be willing to find the Leviathan bones and draw a picture of them. Sure, I'll, I'll Snapchat it for you. Especially what you see is the head of the animal. If you can get a, just a bit of a picture, bit in the picture, that'd be adequate. 
this and I'll give you 300 rupees. Leave it to me, uh -huh. dude. Excellent. You're a lifesaver in the literal sense. We have here's 300 rupees. Hmm. Leviathan bones. Hey, dude. That dog is way too fucking chill for this fucking weather. Look at this! Ah! We're all gonna die, dog. He's just he's sick of it. He's just over there sleeping. Look, that tree over there got struck by lightning. It's over that one. We're all about to die, doggy! All right, might as well head to the uh, the tower for the northern region. So I'm sort of close to it right here. Just get that all mapped out. I imagine we'll be having to head over there for uh, the main story anyway. Huh. That's interesting. We seem to have like a... Some kind of old dilapidated building down here, which I bet is housing a shrine. Oh, I got cool, Saflina. That's not the one I want. I want the more one. I'm we'll probably have to go to the Gerudo Desert. I didn't really want to go there yet, you know? Uh-oh. Is that... Oh, it's the other one. Wow, look at you, dude. Dinral. I have to get some stuff from him at some point as well, but... I didn't really want to go to the Gerudo Desert yet until I'd, uh... Ooh, Forgotten Temple. Until I had, uh, gone to, uh, the northern area first, you know? Is that, uh, yep, sure is. Hey, dude. You're not alive, right? Let's get some more of Saflina. Nope, there's a shrine. Nope, there's a tower. Nope, there's this thing. I can't stay focused at all. Oh, dear. Yeah, I figured one of you guys is gonna spring to life. Or oh, more than one of you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. 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 Motherfucker, get it. Come on. Oh, I got to I got to Rook's uh, thing. I'll help a little bit. Okay, it's just one at a time, all right? Okay, thanks, to Rook. Apparently, I didn't get that myself. <laughs> Boom, gotcha. That that time I did. Uh oh. Yeah, got it again. You want some too, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Thanks, Daruk. It's a lot harder to gauge when they're far away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. You cannot all be alive. Oh, my God, they are. Well, four of them are. And that one over there. Too many. Too many. Ah. Shit. Ah. Oh, Fuck me, seriously. Takes just one hit from this sh these things. I shouldn't even be wasting those things on, on you guys. I'll use a rusty shield. That's all it takes for... All I gotta do is parry it, right? And if you don't, then it destroys your shield. You know what the fuck? You, mister. I'm just gonna kill you the old-fashioned way. How about that? Or not. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, all right, I reached it. Rona Kasha Kasha Shrine. Someone else behind you. What is this? Oh, hey, I can pray to you. Oh, I'm giving my spirit orbs to you. Wow, that's a big one. You get super hard. Ah! <laughs> Just drops this massive heart container on me. That's too big. It's too big. All right, what we got? Oh, just Rona Kasha's blessing. All right, just had to get here and not die. Uh, great flame blade. All right. Okay, we got some worms to flee in nearby. Whoa, what the? Oh, holy shit, am I getting a sandstorm? What's happening? I think I am. Got my thing to cloud up. Was my radar now? Holy shit, I can't teleport out of it either. Uh, is there a bottom to do this? Electric Saflina? Hi there. Well, you just look friendly, don't you? Well, that's not good. I won't be able to get out of here. Like this. Hey, there's some more Saflina. How many? Nine total. You got any more around here? A sand seal. What the hell? Is that a bad guy? I'm gonna guess so. He's surrounded by Los Alphos. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Where am I? Ooh, a hydro melon. Can I ride you guys? Oh, actually, I wonder if I can. These seals use their flippers to move through the sand of swimming. They were once wild animals, but have been domesticated by the Gerudo. They rely on their excellent hearing to find their way while submerged in the sand. Their large, distinct tusks are, look pretty ferocious, but their favorite food is actually fruit. They've been domesticated. Hmm. 
Grab. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god, I am surfing on this motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! It's so cool! Oh jeez. Oh my god, that's so awesome! Yeah! Also oh, nail this fucker. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go, Sand Seal. Oh wait, hold on, man. I gotta dash into you. Ah, damn it! Oh my god, that is so awesome. I don't know if I can actually hit these guys. Thank you, Mr. Seal. Oh my god, that was so cool. That really caught me off guard. Oh, good. Raider's back. I can see again. Oh, holy shit, I'm freezing. I wasn't expecting to freeze in the desert. Actually, it does get really cold, actually, at night in, in the desert, too. The desert just kind of sucks all across the board. It's never a pleasant temperature. Okay, I believe that should be enough. But while we're at it, might as well grab this, so... Uh, ah! The shrine! The Dakota shrine. Dakota. Electric path. See the little thing there? Oh, hello there. Ah, there's Guardian Scout version one. Actually, I believe. Go ahead, shoot me, baby. Yep, there we go. <laughs> this thing's deflected right back automatically. Oh, this is totally different, isn't it? Okay, I'm trying to power that thing. I think if I do, though, it's this thing's not going to move, though, right? Yeah. Oh, as long as I hold to the cable, though. I see. Interesting. This is a totally new mechanic here. Oh, wait, come back. Okay, touching you doesn't hurt me, at least. Ah, I see. Chest. Moonlight Scimitar. Delicate Gerudo carvings decorate this curved sword. Great blade is extremely sharp. Ancient core. Great. Okay, we got a whole bunch of metal. Okay, I'm going to need to bring the block over here. Oh, I see. Ow! Keep that high in the air so it doesn't touch the... Metal down there. Okay, and drop it here. Okay, I just guess wait for that thing to come over. Move forward. Move back again. Make sure it's not touching these. Radiant Shield. Ooh, this extravagant shield is presented to the Daruda warrior, Warriors who rise to the rank of captain. Its apparent opulence is rivaled only by its combat capabilities. Uh, this was a cool one. I liked that. All right, for the next level, I need Sun Shrooms and Fire Key Swings. All right, see what the set bonus is. Unfreezable. All right, that's kind of what I figured it would be. Guys ain't gonna do shit to me anymore. Okay, do I need to talk to, like, the uh, quote-unquote elder of this place or something? Ow. Oh. Ah, uh, welcome. Ah, uh, what's the matter? No offense, but this is not your concern. That cursed monster. Oh, this lady wants a baked apple. I wasn't expecting a quest. I didn't see an exclamation point. Ah, right, lady, here's a baked apple. Oh. Oh. Hey, so that I know that smell. We've got a baked apple. Can I have one? I'll give you a present. Sure thing. Serious? Cheers. Hold your hand. A hundred dollars for this fucking apple, jeez, lady. You know they're everywhere, right? It takes like two seconds to make. If only you get my husband to cook me a baked apple every once in a while. Got sick of stomach and a hollow legs for baked apples. Free as many as you can. God, there's like, just like, random people who are like, like, give me all these things and I'll give you so much money for these really easy to gain things. Ah, look at you, mister. Visitor, <laughs> welcome to. Oh. Ah! That object on your hip. Could it be? Forgive me. Where are my manners? I am Kennelly, elder of Rito Village. Now then, is that not a sickishly tingly from your hip? That's right! Oh, oh my! So it is true. There you miss. That means you must be a champion, like Master Reveille. Re Reveille. One of the few able to board Divine Beast Va Modo. No what am I thinking? The champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant. Narrative that she could slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant. 
If you wouldn't listen to an old man's request, you would have my eternal gratitude. <laughs> Maybe later. No, I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of a champion, there's something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? Save us! I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Far Modo, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen, a champion can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining to this to the more headstrong Rita warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Tiba and Harth tried to confront Mado, but it did not go well, and Harth was injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Mado alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Teba. If you work together, he might be able to stop the divine beast from Mado. Okay. Who's Master Reveille? Oh. Master Reveille was a fierce warrior from the Rito village who died 100 years ago. According to the stories, he flew like the wind itself and wielded a bow twice his own size with ease. Skill was recognized by King Rome as a trusted and controlled divine beast Far Modo. Oh. He lost his life while piloting the divine beast during the great battle with Calamity Ganon. What happened to inside divine beast Far Modo? I killed such a celebrated warrior! Uh. So you. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. He speaks quite loudly. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then uh, this uh, happens! Uh, Sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the fight against Mado. Nah, I, I told him to fuck off. You missed that part. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Way to go. Well, my husband decided to head to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Drunks Pass at the base of Hebra, Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rita warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons for another run in Mado. As it happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take off from Reveille's Landing, it's a straight shot to the flight range. Reveille's Landing is a memorial for Rito champion Reveille. So named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, wait, it's come back to me. I remember something. I remember his name was Falco! Ah! Wee! Hey man, man can, can I fly, fly next? next? Whoa! This guy looks just like Falco. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. <laughs> With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore <laughs> the Somebody's got an ego. is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. <laughs> and now you're dead. You think you can prove me wrong? Maybe we should just settle this one on one. But where? Fine, you oh, want to die I that bad? How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Well, aren't you just I'm friendly? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna still help you. No, fuck that guy. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, wow. wow. Look at that. Yeah, Someone so who's even a bigger asshole, asshole than I am. Mechanically. Descendant. Descendant, are you all right? I'm not a descendant. I'm fucking 100 years old, all right? My apologies. I fear I've said too much. Is there anything you can do? Do you understand? Please don't hesitate to ask. Rap about Reveille. Reveille's the legendary Richard warrior. He's also kind of a prick. All the warriors here idolize him. My husband is no exception. Exception. So always talking about turning our son to Lin like a into a warrior like just like Reveille. When they go and play together, he's fi really training him at the flight range. I wanted my sweet Tulin to become a sweet warrior, my a warrior myself. So for Tiba at the flight range. 
Okay, that's right near where that other shrine is. Let's go ahead and grab another park container. All right, away. Ah, uh, this is good. This is really gonna open up a lot of the areas now for me now. I can finally check out uh, uh, Mount Laneru with the snow gear on. It's getting chilly. Yeah, I do. I, I slow down when I'm going through the snow here. Oh, Ice Breath Los Alphas. That's a new one. Nah, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Just want to go to the shrine. Shaw Warbo Shrine. Path of the Hidden Winds. Ooh. All right. Time to glide, baby. Whoa, whoa. Keep an eye out for chess. Like that. Come on, bro, hit me. Hit me. Come on, you can totally do it. I believe in you. Oh, sorry, you're dead. She didn't believe hard enough. Uh, so just over there. Wait, not high enough though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the hidden wind. I was like, what? where is he expecting me to go exactly? All right, now let's get this little chest over here. Oh, great, another fucking night spell. <laughs> well, it's got a quick shot to it, at least. Flight range. See little targets or something. I feel I'm be going in there. I have to like, prove myself to this person. Swallow bow. Bow is a favorite among Rita warriors. His bowstring is specially engineered for aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Ugh, it's pathetically weak, though. Tiba, Rito Warrior. Are you gonna be related in some way then to the I don't know you. Reveille? And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Man, why are you guys so mean to me? I'm here to save your dumb asses. Did you need something? I'm busy here. I can help you. Help me. With what exactly? I'm a doe, I'm chosen one, you know. Let me get this straight. Some random highly wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Vamado. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Link, huh? Well, Link. I'm Tiba. But you already knew that. Guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's right! Just like the Elder to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rita warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village. And that is... Once Divine Beast Vamudo falls from the sky and burns in the deepest bowels of hell. If I have to kill Mudo, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Then let's get started! Are you serious? <laughs> ha! Well, far be it from me to talk you off the ledge. But it's as the Elder said. The only way to stop Va Divine Beast Vamudo is to get inside it. That chance of that happening, there's no way we can set foot in Mado. Actually, it's not only are you wingless, you're brainless too. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. If, I hadn't, if it hadn't been for Ganon. Hmm. Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Mado, one step at a time. If we approach Mado recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we can get close. So I'm going to need to test you before I can take you with me. We Rito Warriors use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. The updrafts here are so strong here that a person could just open a cloth over their head and float up easily. Let's see what you're capable of. You'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. Hmm. Alright, got it. And go destroy five targets with your arrows. I fucking knew it. Alright, I'm going to have to prove myself this little bitch. Fuck! Uh. Hey, not bad. Uh. 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 Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm better off with my ancient bow. She's she's straighter. We're out really three minutes to store these things. It's a lot of time. Uh. 
Boom. Okay, come back. Damn, that was easy. Three whole minutes? You're a skilled archer. It was as if time stopped with every arrow you left fly. <laughs> That's because it did. I got Matrix powers. Didn't I tell you? Gotta tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. I thought you were Ashton Kutcher in disguise, but no. After seeing you handle that bow, I can tell you're the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. Hundreds of the- <laughs> Hundreds of the- I believe it. Now seriously, I've killed hundreds of those guardians. And Lionel, too. Did you see that flashback? It was pretty sweet. Princess Zelda didn't give a shit. We fucked like monkeys that night. You did you what? Not. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, me. I'm just- I'm just kidding. Don't- Don't flashback. Don't flashback! No! Don't flashback! Link, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Mado, it's now or never. Get you into position so you can give it- It's cannons all you've got. So that treasure chest is a bow I've modified. Take it. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Falcon bow! Falcon! I really think I'm alright with my ancient bow, honestly, man. Shoot straighter, huh. it's just gonna be easier. Okay, it's time to face Divine Beast Bombado. Normal arrows won't put a dent in this cannon, so we need to hit them with bomb arrows. Those are our precious commodities, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these bomb arrows. Oh, fuck yes, thank you. Also, it'll be cold up there. So we'll have to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. Alright, I'm ready. Alright. But let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Why well, risk your life to bring down Mado? To rescue Zelda. Save the Rito village. I can't just watch. Just cuz. To save the Rito village. Rito village. It's like you'll get the keys to the village, you know. I don't know, man. I'll hook up with some sexy bird chick. It's my job to fuck every one of these races. Oh, that's nice. But no changing your mind once you get up there and see Mado up close. That's fair enough. Right, get on. God, you're heavy. Come on, I'm doing my best, all right? I'm very self-conscious. Just say I've been eating a lot of apple pies lately. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hmm. All right, it's showtime. This guy reminds me a bit of the, the Zora one. Man, I feel like I'm going to freeze up here. Except in, 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 instead of being in the water, I'm in the air. All right, birdie, time to demon die. This is Divine Beast Von Mudo. This is the, it has a spear up again. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk? No, I just don't talk much. Let's go over the plan. Hmm. See those cannons? I'll draw their fire. I'm doing this. Use your bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Got it so far? We need to withdraw for a bit. Just spread your cloth and float straight up in the air for an updraft for a while. We'll take those aside. We need to regroup. Don't bother him for anything and cover by Mado's barrier. It's impenetrable. Whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, I know I've said this a few times already, but don't forget your cold protection. That'd be funny if I just went up there totally naked. <laughs> my, my what? You can move whenever you're ready. All right, let's go. All right. Now go blow up those goddamn cannons. <laughs> All right. Uh, eat shit. I missed. Let's try again. Oh my god, it's still alive. That's it. Alright, fly like a bird. Wow, this updraft is very, uh, very fortunate here. Oh boy. Alright, so I just gotta kinda float my way over there. Eat shit. Fuck, I am missing. Oh, there we go. No, the ancient bow is badly damaged. No, not a good time, ancient bow. Okay, two down. Out of the way. You holding up, okay? I'm all good. Whoa. Ah, my ancient bow broke. One Fuck. more. That thing was pretty great, though. I'll have to get another one sometime soon. It did last a good while. Ah. <sighs> uh. Oh my god, come on! God damn, seriously? Ugh. Oh, these bows don't shoot nearly as far as the ancient bow did. There we are. We Boom! Bah! I'm in!
Well done, Link. That thing is history. Alright, that's the main generator thing right there. I guess I'll be fighting the boss. Smell fried chicken. I just hope that I can make it back. You head down to Meadow. Good luck. It's all you. Thanks, man. Don't worry. This bird is as good as cooked. All right, we got in here pretty, pretty damn fast. I gotta say. Compared to the other ones, which took quite a bit of preparation, this was kind of like, yeah, just right in, baby. All right, travel gate registered. Well, now, I've seen that face before. Oh, God, it's. I had a feeling Douchey you bird. show up eventually. But making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? Yeah. Here to make up for your mistakes. If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. Okie dokie. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Sure, but first things first, I see a chest. Oh, I see you, Mr. Eyeball. No, 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 no. That's enough of the bomb arrows. Sapphire, all right. Get on out of here. Oh, got another one. Oh, an ancient core, great. That brings me to five. I can upgrade another piece of my, uh, Ancient gear. You got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah, I see you. But you know what? I don't think uh, shooting these beams out does use up energy. See, I'm almost out of energy. I'm trying to, want to break this so I can essentially reset the charge on it, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Although to be fair, it really doesn't also do a whole lot of damage either. So here we are. Okay, five points. Tilt. I'm guessing probably churn like uh, vertically or something. You'll need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Damn right. I got this shit. Okay, let's uh let's give it a try then. <laughs> Whoa. Ka -ka! Oh, I see. Okay, and then based on where it's gonna tilt. For this one, I don't need to tilt in order for this thing to move towards this. All right, here we go. Shit. Come on. There we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, there we go. I was trying to shoot that guy from far away earlier, but I just couldn't reach him. If I had each bow, I probably could have, but okay. One down. Okay, we got one right here. Okay. So I'm gonna want this thing to tilt and have this this thing here move. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, and this thing can move as well. Move it back. That. There we are. I think I'm gonna have to push it a bit more. Needs more oomph. There we are. Okay, two. Oh. I see you, motherfucker. Ugh. Oh, I see what to do here, though. I'm gonna drop a bomb into this. But it needs to be tilted the other way. Away! Boom. Oh, it opens the window there. I see. Oh, on that side. I didn't realize. That allows it to blow the bomb over. Okay, now pull it this way so the ball comes out. Okay, can I Agnes sit through here? Oh, I can't. All right. Scoot you to this side. And now, rotate it back. Boom. Got it. There are two terminal. Two left. There we are. One left. Got your chest. Nice Claymore. Ooh, attack was 13. Nice. Okay, it's right there. Is there anything to carry me over? I don't think so. I think I, but I might be able to do it if I just lean it. Oops. Other way. Like that. There we are. Now you just need to start the main control unit. I want you to take a good look at your map. There should be a new glowing point on there. Well... Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. I got wings, you idiot. There we are. Oh, good, another night's... <laughs> God damn it. Stop it! Here it is, on the nose. Giant issue core. Cool. And that's all of them. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Come and get me, get him right here. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -dee. Ah! Here he comes. I imagine you're gonna be bird, bird related. Holy shit. Wind blight Ganon. Nope, never mind. Just wind related. Good luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. Ah, I see what you did there. I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link. Eh. <laughs> All right. All right, come on, come on, boy. Uh, uh. Ow, fuck. Ah. Yeah, you guys point out, uh, using the Master Sword just kind of makes Swiss cheese of these guys, so I think I may have to stick with uh, using my regular weaponry. So as not to eliminate all the challenge. Uh, oh fuck! Uh, eat this! Boom! 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 Oh, there we go. Three hits. Uh, uh. Come on. Uh, uh, two, three. Now's your chance. Uh, uh, uh. All right, 
What do you got for phase two, baby? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Watch your blind spot. Ugh. Ah, shit. Gotcha! All right, I'll just stick with doing the same strategy I've been doing. Ugh. Fly. Oh shit, no. Change, suddenly change direction. Ah. Oh crap. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. What are those things? What do those things even do? They shoot. Things at me or something? I don't seem to be doing anything. What's the wind? What's the wind they're doing? Okay, yeah. Two, three. Ow. Uh, 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 uh. All right, almost there. Da, 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 da. Oh, you're really high up there. Uh, oh god. Oh god, he's shooting his big buster cannon at me. Uh, uh, uh. Gotcha! Not today, motherfucker. Return from the hell from whence you came, cannon. God, his giblets are raining down. Hey, can I get your sweet cannon? As a weapon? Just carrying this massive thing around with me. Buster gunning the shit out of anyone who gets in my way. Oh, yes. Give me that heart container. There it is. Fucking beautiful. Come to daddy. I like it's interesting I can actually like it's sitting there and I have to go over and pick it up manually. I wonder if it's I mean I can actually like leave it there and not get it. Maybe for someone who wants to like quote unquote make this uh like a hard mode or something. Once you activate the mode control make control panel will not be able to re-enter the interior of the divine beast. It's all good, I got the chest. Let's set that fucking bird free. And add another ghost to my league of ghost people. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Yeah, it was easy. Who would have thought? Reveille, Rito Champion. You'll always be Falco to me. Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred Ooh. skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. Oh, Ravale, okay. Woo! Ah, uh, 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 oh, oh, fuck, that hurt, dude! Oh my god. Oh, he's giving me the power of wind. Whoa, cool! What's that for? It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Or never mind, just go. <laughs> Your job is far from finished, you know. I like how Link even looks like he's sick of his of him talking. He's just like, okay, I I don't I don't care. Bye. I am sick of your fucking bullshit. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. Yep. 
approximately 15 episodes. <laughs> Oh, oh God. God, now, now I'm, I'm here, here too. too. Yay, yeah, new ghost, ghost friend, yay. Guys, yeah, really starting to turn into a sausage, sausage fest in here. We need some more ladies. ladies. You know, I always found Reveille to be actually quite handsome. What? Seriously, Mifa? Well, well, you, you have, have good, good taste, taste, my dear. dear. What about me? Oh, now you care, Link. What, you can fool around with someone, but I can't? I'm an independent woman, Link, get over it. Whoa! Oh my god! The bird is gonna shit on Ganon! <laughs> Just start shitting these massive bricks on him. <laughs> Birdie laser time! Precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. I will. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. And if you do, well, fuck you. Uh, stupid, stupid bird. bird. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. I guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. I guess that means you're at least halfway decent. Man, fuck you! I don't want you possessing me or whatever. Actually, I want any of you people possessing me. Y'all drive me nuts. Well, then my, my job, job here is, is done. done. So you gonna leave? Fuck no! Reveille Scale. A blusterous power reborn from the spirit of Champion Reveille creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by charging jump with X. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, that's actually gonna make getting around a lot easier. All right, that's a third divine beast down. Yeah, I actually had you guys telling me before how this one was probably the fastest one, and yeah, that was a pretty damn quick one, I gotta say, as compared to the others. You have done it. You have survived by that. Conquer divine beast Vamado. I think the base is taking up roost at the top of the village. It looks simply divine. If the legends are true, the light from the divine beast will ravage the calamity. For now, divine beast Vamado will become the protector of this village. And live on in legend, alongside you. And, and me, old man, man and, and me. Can't, can't ever forget, forget about me. You know, I think I'm starting to remember why I didn't like you very much. Oh, oh please, Daruk, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure my witty banter always, always brought a smile to your face. face. No, no, I'm pretty, pretty sure that was actually a grimace, a grimace from the amount of cringe, cringe you bring. Canelli, before I leave, there's one thing I must ask you. What is it, young Link? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? 386. Okay, thanks! Oh yes, of course. I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You get more use of it than I. Champion to send it. Send it. I've only just realized that sword you have in your possession. Could it be the sword that seals the darkness? The Hylian Champion who fought alongside Master Reveille 100 years ago. Could that be you? All right, cool. Yay, we did it. All right, what I got? Great Eagle Bow. A bow without equal wielded by Rito Champion Reveille. It's also said Reveille could loose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him supreme in aerial combat. Yes, yeah, so and it just wasted on your likes. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to it anyway. So too bad, mister. You had your chance. Maybe you didn't drop fucking dead. Ah, cool. That's cool, yeah, you can draw real fast with this. I'll make good use of this, don't worry, Reveille. I am gonna use this by hanging it in my house. Oh, are you freaking, freaking kidding, kidding me? me? That thing that has thing been, been passed, passed down, down from generation, generation to generation. generation. That, that is, is the, the most, most powerful, powerful bow in all of the world. world. And you're just gonna, gonna hang it in your house, house like, like a, a fucking, fucking decoration. decoration? Yep. 
<laughs> but, but why? Just to spite you! That's right, who's the best now, bitch? Say it! No. I will, I will never, never say, say it. it. Honestly, Honestly, you're probably, probably just better off saying it now. Oh, I, I still, still have, have my, my pride, pride damn, it. damn it! Now I got my birdie added to the loading screen. Okay, so I get three of them. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, so cool! Wow, it really launched you high. Oh, woo Oh, that is really helpful. That is, that is gonna be super useful. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, didn't I hate? Wait, I was like, where did my weapons go? <laughs> I was about to have a little freak out there. I was like, motherfucker, did that guy in the pink pants rob me? There we go. Very cool. I think it feels really acid to decor here. <laughs> it's funny. I just realized I never actually did go to that tower. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to save that for next time, guys. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already to become a picky penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Only one more Divine Beast left, guys. And I think he's going to be down south where the, the desert is. But uh, we still got, uh, I mean, even then, though, I mean, we still got so much fucking stuff to explore and do. Like, ah, uh, this game is massive. It's just fun as hell. But anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.